A lot of shitty people react with devious acts. All I responded with the weakest. I bet the future was ass. In other words, you took shots just to get bigger. Fans still feel it. I'm a god and a real nigga. How you help figure? I won't slaughter that man off that horse on your polo. It's homicide. I'll use your corpse as my logo. It's fucked up about it. This YouTube still gon' let me monetize as I record and go global. Just warming up. <laughs> make the whole entire planet feel the flames. Ain't no room for you to panic or escape. If I go a planet of the apes, Lil Caesar's gonna make a piece of shit like you, Venus. You'll get ape. <laughs> What's good, apocalyptic family? It's the god is apocalypse. Welcome one, welcome all. This nigga PewDiePie, man, I swear. Yo, so. The vi. Relax, TV. Relax. Nah, but. This dude PewDiePie, man, he got a video called I Broke My Ass. <laughs> Yo, what's good with PewDiePie, man? The video is called I Broke My Ass. <laughs> Before we get started, yo, be sure to check out the Homicide Remix I did. I bodied that hoe, in my opinion. You can tell me what you think of the Homicide Remix. Link in the description. Let's get into it, yo. Hello. <laughs> it's time for me to share one of my most deepest, darkest, saddest stories that I ever held inside and not told anyone in over 15 years. Okay. That's right. I broke my ass. <laughs> Yo. It's something I'm proud of, and I'm only making this video to make sure that this happens to no one else. I was young, I was foolish, and this could happen to anyone. Do you know okay. where your ass is right now? You have to be aware at all times. Otherwise, you run the risk of experiencing the same pain I did long, long, long ago. I'm making this video because I made a promise. In a video a couple years ago, I said, I admitted that I broke my ass. I'll tell people in the future about this story. And I finally gathered enough courage. I finally gathered oh, man. to tell my story about how I broke my ass. I'm trying so hard to be serious, man. I really appreciate it. People gave me their respect and support. For doing this, mm -hmm. it's not easy to talk about, but I will do my best. I mean, shit, you broke your ass. When I was 15 in Sweden, I was an awkward Swedish, weird, underdeveloped little child. <laughs> That's right, everyone. I used to be their short kid. You think I'm insecure about my height for no reason? <laughs> this has nothing to do with the story. I'm just giving context. I didn't okay. like interacting with people. I would prefer to I still don't. play video games. I know, the perfect cliche of a nerdy kid. <clears throat> Nevertheless, during summer, we didn't have a computer at our summer place. I had a completely different friend group there. There was basically, internet was non-existent. So, I had no other choice but to hang out and socialize with people. So, even though I was a weird, awkward kid, two months a year, I, I became a normal Swedish boy. I became a summer child and actually went out, partying, and did all the stuff you do. So one week during summer, there's a, it's called sailing week, I think, mm -hmm. where everyone or a lot of people rent a boat, they go sailing. I like these cutaways. They go harbor, and uh, they get to the <coughs> party. So me and my friends rented a sailing boat all together. Well, I think, I think I was 50. I don't know exactly how old I was. But me and my uh, two closest friends, we rented a boat to do basically just this. I don't know why my parents thought this was a good idea. I definitely would not let my kids do that, <coughs> especially in mind with what we did. I'm not going to go into details. Whoa! You have so many amazing talents. You must be really good at sailing. Oh, yeah. Hold I was up. actually a sailing instructor at one point. Not really. I mean, I was a sailing instructor, but I was goddamn awful at sailing. I really just got the job. Hi, Key. I thought on the TV he was watching Full House, my nigga. <laughs> during the... So it was basically me and a bunch of really young kids. Mm -hmm. And then during the be beginning of the course, we asked, like, who wants to sail with Felix? And all the kids went, yeah, me, me, me. And I'm like, yay, I'm finally popular with kids. Kids like me. This is great. And then at the end of the course, they asked the same question. Who wants to sail with Felix today? No one. Complete silence. No one wanted to sail with me. All the kids hated me. Because I wasn't good at sailing, and we kept capsizing, and I kept lashing out on all the kids because they sucked at sailing. And how is that my fault? I'm just the instructor. <laughs> I also won one sailing uh, competition once, which wasn't really a sailing competition. 
but it's one of those things that I carried with me throughout these 15 years. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm good at sailing. I'm not good at sailing, and I'm willing to admit that. Nevertheless, we went sailing, me and a couple friends, and it was a great time. We, <coughs> we partied, <laughs> and that was it. The problem is, I get really, really, really motion sick or seasick. And anyone that gets seasick, you know how awful it is. I've gotten seasick it once. It stays with you until you get out of the boat. It doesn't leave you for all this time. And it seems impossible <coughs> to get rid of. You just want to die. And it's not a good feeling. I didn't like the feeling. So I thought, okay, I'm going to come prepared. So I bought this motion sickness tablet, which is supposed to help with it. But they came with two side effects that I was not intending for. Number one, it made me extremely sleepy. For some reason, we have these weird regulations in Sweden where with drugs, I guess, we don't really- Don't tell me you broke your ass trying to sell, my nigga. A lot of times what doctors do is that instead of giving you sleeping pills, they say, hey, just take these motion sickness tablets. They do the same thing. And I didn't know about this. <laughs> so I remember one time, one of the days during the sailing week, it was so stormy outside. I remember looking outside and be like, oh my god, I'm gonna die from seasickness if I go out on That was I me one time, yo. Sickness tablets, being like, it's not gonna happen to me. Yeah, I basically just drugged myself as hard as I could. <laughs> Completely passed out. I don't know how long I was out, but I remember I was waking up way later in the evening, being super confused. I didn't know where I was. I looked outside. I thought we arrived in the new harbor, realizing we didn't even leave the shore. Everyone was too afraid to sail that day, so I basically just drugged myself for no reason. But Felix, we want to hear how you broke your ass. Well, I'm getting there, okay? <laughs> Papa needs some water. There's another symptom <laughs> Watch that time. I haven't mentioned yet. That symptom is balance. That's right. Motion sickness is connected to your ear, which is connected to your balance. So I would say, or at least I like to think that that's why my mm. balance wasn't the pristine top condition that it's usually in. I can stand on one leg probably longer than any other person alive. I pride myself in having extremely well balanced in everything. <coughs> Thanos catchphrase, perfectly balanced as all things should be, was actually the Thanos hand. me. I have amazing balance, but taking these pills, it knocked over my balance. Then we were also on this boat drinking, obviously, as we were sailing, and that knocked down a few points on my balance scale as well. <laughs> now, sometimes when you sit down in a sailing boat, it's a little bit awkward to sit down in a sailing boat. They're kind of weirdly shaped, so it's not always the perfect place to place your butt. There's also a lot of big objects, a lot of hard objects. <laughs> <laughs> that you could possibly fall on. I was gonna sit down, everything was fine. It was a beautiful sunny day, we were all drinking beer, alcohol free of course. I was gonna sit down and I remember it so vividly. I can replay the whole scenario in slow motion. I was gonna sit down and I was gonna grab my friend while sitting down because like I said, it's awkward sitting down in a sailing boat. So I was gonna get help from my friend to sit down. But this son of a gun, <laughs> moved away in <laughs> last second and i remember <laughs> just <laughs> falling out of my grasp my hands the music stopped off. whatever my ass is gonna land on it's not gonna be beautiful <laughs> it wasn't beautiful and then on a bench i don't know what that's called in english it's basically what you rail in the sails with. And it's pretty much as uncomfortable as you can imagine. Oh, it's called winch in English. Okay. I screamed out in terror, in pain, in shock. My ass. Ah, <laughs> uh, my ass. <laughs> I was completely immobilized. I couldn't move. But most importantly, I was in deep, deep pain. It really hurts to break your ass. I wasn't sure if it does. Happened. But I knew something was wrong. So me and my friend, as soon as we entered, we came to shore, we came to harbor, we had to go to the hospital. We did the scan to confirm that yes, indeed, there was a crack in my ass. I did no longer just had one crack. The whole ass, way through. Yes, and that's one crack too many to have, let me tell you. I, I remember feeling very shocked about this. It was a very traumatizing experience and realization. And I wasn't sure what they were going to do with me. How this whole think? story is just to lead to that. I thought maybe they would give me some sort of a bandage, kind of like a diaper or something like that. 
And I remember asking the nurse, what are you going to do? And she's like, well, we can't bandage your ass, can we? And I thought, yeah, I guess you can. You live and you learn. <laughs> so instead, they just gave me a bunch of painkillers and sent me off even though I had a broken axe. You know, usually when you break something, I never actually broken anything in my body. So I was actually kind of looking forward to it because everyone, you know, when they're a kid, they break an arm, they break a leg or whatever, and everyone's like, oh, it's so sad for you. And you get all this attention, they get people riding on your bandage. And no one's gonna ride on my bandage, ass bandage. I mean, it's I the ass bandage. It's the pain and suffering. And most of all, the humiliation. You break an arm, it's cool. You break an ass, it's not cool. No one thinks that's cool. No one is proud to say, hey, I broke my ass. Okay, do you want to tell me here? Do you want to tell story? Think again. Now, the worst part of all is that Jonas, Jonas, if you're watching this video, you sneaky son of a snake, Jonas, the guy that moved away when I was trying to sit down, while I was at the hospital with my other friend, Agus, good friend of his, that doesn't tell people, Jonas told everyone. He told everyone that I had broken my ass, and everyone laughed. Haha, ha, that's so funny. Yo. Straight for God knows how long. I was in pain. I feel like shit now. I was humiliated. I'm sorry, dudes. I was hurt. I'm sorry, bro. Don't break your ass. I won't. I won't. Take good care of it. Preach it to the choir. You never know what's gonna happen to <laughs> I think I did it wrong. <laughs> Don't break your ass. What? You never played Tuber Simulator. Oh shit. You know it's fun, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but give it a try, and then you can tell me if it's good or not. Not convict. Tuber Simulator, huh? My dude. Don't break your ass. That's all I'm gonna say on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all subscribe to PewDiePie, man. Link in the description below the original video. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Become one with the apocalyptic family. Leave a like if you enjoyed this reaction. Comment below what you thought about this reaction. Also, not for nothing, but I really want you to check out that homicide remix, man. I'm I'm enlightened by your support. Y'all encourage me. Y'all push me to do better each and every time. Music-wise, as a person, in every aspect of my life, man. Definitely check out that Homicide Remix. Deuces.